Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I have for you something a little bit different as far as the product. It's still going to be an unboxing, but today we are doing our first Funko Paka Paka Mystery Capsule Unboxing. I do have quite a few of these, but I didn't want to do them all in one video because it just makes longer editing. So definitely watch out for future unboxings of these. If you haven't seen the haul of where I got these or how much I paid for them, I'll definitely link that in the description below. If I can find it, I'll try my best. These are rather old. I think I think this was like the second or third series of the Paka Paka. So yeah, they're kind of old. But if you want to see these unboxed, let's go ahead and get started. So I only took off the packaging off camera. That way this goes a little bit faster, but I did leave packaging on one so we could take a look at it. So we'll go ahead and do that and then just jump right into the unboxing. If you hear a noise in the background, it's currently like 103 degrees right now and it is just so hot. So I do have a little fan going. I hope that it's not too loud, but I'm going to die if I have it off. But let's just take a look at the packaging. So here they are. They are just little cats that literally look like soda, hence the name Soda Cat. So they have a whole bunch of them. They're really cute. I believe there's maybe eight or ten different ones that we're trying to find. Some are super ultra rare. A lot of them are just common. I did buy these at a bunch of different GameStop, so hopefully we get a good mixture, but we will see. So we'll go ahead and just jump right in and open this first one. And I know that they come in clear plastic blind bags, so we'll know who we get right away, but we'll take a look at the checklist for the first one as well. This one looks pretty cute. So we'll just take a look at the checklist first since we already kind of see what he's looking like. But here is the checklist. Like I said, this was like one of the first three series that came out. So we have our commons that you get one in every 12 you open. Our chase figures, you get one in every 18 you open. And then the hyper rare, which are one in every 36 you open. But here they are on the back, all the ones that you could possibly get. You can also possibly get the Paka Paka Dragon. That's also a one in 36. But it actually looks like this is series one so I think this is the first series I think that's what that means but we'll go ahead and take a look at who we got and then they have little stories so that's pretty cute Ah, so this one kind of looks like a Starbucks like that you get out of like the freezers at a store. It's like a cold drink. It's really cute. The vinyl on this one is clear. Absolutely adorable. It says Cat Pacino. So that's very cute. Let's see. So he is a 1 in 12 and it looks like this is the other style that you can get. So his reads, Cat Pacino. Need to claw your way out of the drearies? Then you need a Cat Pacino. Clearly a few sips of sweet coffee will make you purr and you will be back on the prowl for sure. So that's that's really cute. I like that. That's a good first one. Oh, how exciting. We got his brother right off the bat. So same story. So we're not going to read it. Same checklist. We won't bother with that. But this is a, let's see, what do we have? Cat Pacino. Oh my God. Oh no. I was over here thinking that we got the glitter one. So this is actually a common as well. So there were just two variants of that as commons, but this one's really cute. This one has both of its eyes open and it's a clear vinyl. And I really like that. That's adorable. Ooh, another new one. This is fun. This is fun. Seriously, with these blind bags. Okay, so this one is perpsy. We all know what that's supposed to be like. I like how his little paws are different than the clear vinyl. He's got that like brown tip on his ear. And I like that this is a clear brown vinyl. It's really, really cute. I like this one. And I like how they have straws on the top of their heads. It's just adorable. Okay, and it looks like this is a one in 12. So we're, we're doing pretty average. And it looks like his story says, Says, he is positively the most refreshing. The crisp cola taste is truly a blessing. So have another drink from the bottle and soon your hips will wiggle and waddle. That's cute. Soda does that, I guess. I don't drink a lot of soda, so I don't know its true potential. Oh, so it looks like we have a duplicate of our Perpsy one. I'll look at the checklist to see if there's a variant, but I don't see anything special about this one. No, the other variant looks like it just has a blue lid instead of the red one. So this is definitely a duplicate. This one will go to my sister. She already called dibs on all the duplicates in this video. And on to our last one for the video. I'm hoping it's someone we don't have. 
Yay! Oh my gosh, I have magic powers. So this one is Kitty Cola, according to its tummy. And this one is so cute. I think it's supposed to be the competitive drink to Perpsy, but I like it. This is a blue clear vinyl, and it reminds me of the bottle that these come in. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. I don't want to like get copyright or whatever, but they can come in like the classic glass bottle, and that's what it reminds me of. I like that this is red vinyl on the bottom. Really, really cute. I don't know if that's supposed to be the liquid, but if I'm thinking of the drink that I'm thinking of, the can is red or the like wrapper around it is red, but the soda itself is not. But this one's cute. I'm glad that we ended with a new one. So I'm in love. We'll take a look at what this one is. It looks like this one is also a one in 12. So we're doing about average here. And it looks like its story says he is a true classic cola kitten with just one taste. You will be smitten. Pop his cap and have a little sip. It will make you crazier than catnip. Okay, that's cute. I see what they're doing there. All right, so that was a really quick video. I guess I should have opened more in one, but it's too late to turn back. So these are absolutely adorable. I'm really sad that it took me so long to open these up, but I'm in love. These will definitely be displayed right away. They were each so cute. I'm glad that we only got one duplicate. Hopefully the next video is better, you know, for me, but I love these. They are so cute. The little stories are everything. I'll definitely be marking off the checklist to make sure that we're doing good. But like I said, as of right now, they're all common. We have one duplicate, so we're doing about average. But these are really cute. I think for me personally, the Perpsy is definitely my favorite for this video. I just love the colors. I think I'll be putting him out for 4th of July because it's got that red, white, and blue theme going. And I really like that. But in the comments below, let me know what you think of these. If you bought any, which one was your favorite and why? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell. That way you can be notified of any future Paka Paka unboxings that go up on the channel. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye friends. Bye.